We can do it! Alright, Barbara, the slapping queen. She's an idol for your eyeballs, but if you call her in the dance hall, she'll kick your meatball to Nepal to make you drink a Lysol, which will lead you to your downfall. Yeah, not my best. But if you want your meatballs intact, then make sure to go to the community tab here and change your vote to literally anyone else. Oh, also leave a like and subscribe if you want a Barbara free protection for your meatballs. And your summons. Oh, my companions keep getting injured, but I'm unable to share the burden of their pain. The only thing I can do is my absolute very best to heal their wounds. I'll make sure that everyone is healthy. <laughs> Alrighty, story time. So the younger sibling had an older sibling. The older sibling excelled at everything, including grades and combat skills. The older sibling was the pride of the family and was the very definition of success. The younger sibling was also adequate with her abilities, but was never able to compare to the older sibling. The younger sibling always looked up to the older sibling and wanted to become successful too. However, the younger sibling could never compare to the exquisite abilities of the older sibling and was always upset. But Itachi was a good older sibling to his younger sibling Sasuke, cooking eggs and teaching him a bunch of other stuff. Oh yeah, Barbara and Jean are okay too, I guess. Starting with her elemental abilities. Elemental skill. Go, Barbara! Go in that direction away from the cryo units! Barbara creates a cute little musical note around her that allows you to be frozen for one year when the cryo unit hits you, which is like 70% of the abyss. <laughs> hey! Oh, it also heals you progressively and heals you instantly when you keep auto-attacking, and a tiny bit more when you charge attack. Elemental burst. Come on, we can do it! Don't die on me, I do no damage! Barbara does this cute little spin and heals all all of her allies based on her HP. Oh wait, that's it. My explanation for her burst is actually longer than the in-game explanation. Wow, wow. Moving on to passive talents. Passive 1. The stamina consumption of characters is reduced by 12% when Barbara's self-freeze is active. Wait, that's actually pretty good. Passive 2. When your active character gains energy particles, the duration of Barbara's self-freeze is increased by 5 seconds max. Huh. Passive 3. Haha, -ha, I'm the original one who knows how to cook. Barbara has 12% chance to double healing dishes, which is actually pretty good. Okay. Alright, Barbara. Fuck you! Moving on to constellations, the longest part of the video. Constellation 1, Barbara regenerates 1 energy every 10 seconds. Constellation 2, Self Freeze now has 15% cooldown reduction and now provides 15% hydro damage bonus. Constellation 3, Ready Steady Go is now Ready Steady Sweaty. Constellation 4, Barbara's charge attack now gives you 1 energy per enemy hit. Constellation 5, Self Freeze will now heal better. Constellation 6, Barbara can now revive people with max HP. She's the only one in the game who can do this. That's actually pretty pog. Oh wait, before we move on to support artifacts, I will tell you about the damage artifacts, just like the Diona video. Just like the Diona video. What? You guys actually thought I was gonna use my resources for this? <laughs> yeah, no. Attack for Sands, Hydro Damage Bonus for Goblets, Crit Damage or Crit Rate for Circlet, Stack up on Crit Crit Crit, 4-piece Hydro or 4-piece Wanderer, Stack up on Normal Attack Talent, then Reaction Charge Attack. But thankfully, I'm sane, so not leveling her talent level for her Art Attacks. I guess you can do this when Genshin runs out of content. Oh wait. Now for Sane Artifacts. Energy Recharge or HP for Sands, HP for Goblet, then Healing Damage, sorry, then Healing Bonus for Circlet. And yes, Healing Bonus is better than HP for Barbara. For substats, try to get your Energy Recharge as much as possible, maybe some HP percentage if you want, but other than that, it really doesn't matter too much. For Peace Sets, beginners just go with Exiles, 4-Piece, or Scholars, 4-Piece. Honestly, either is fine. For Endgame, 4-Piece Maidens, all the way. But Jay, what about two-piece Millilith? Honestly, four-piece Maiden still heals you more. There's a reason why they created a healing bonus category in this game. Any other artifacts? No, that's all I can give you. She's really easy to build, and honestly, Barbara is a pretty easy character to build that you don't even need a guide for it. Oh wait, if you leave now, you're a big Timmy, which is Timmy's dad, and he's dead, and you will get killed while you're hunting these things that literally do no damage to you. Like, what a Timmy way to end your life.
Oh, wait. All right, 1.6, free Barasim. Let's go. Give it to me right now. Oh, okay. For weapons, I'm only going to name the support weapons because I'm not insane. You guys are. Starting with 5 stars, literally doesn't exist for support. Moving to 4 stars, Favonius, this will definitely help you with energy, but Barbara's abilities were made for the sole purpose of collecting energy, so it's up to you whether you want to use it or not. Wine and Song, same with the Favonius, but the ability isn't necessary. For free to plays, Prototype Catalyst, it was kind of built for Barbara, HP for primary stat, and heals for ability. It's pretty great. Lastly, there's a 3-star weapon that increases her HP and boosts your team's damage. Dragon Slayers. This book is really Okay, I sound fake when I say really good, but it's, it, it's, it's good. It's really good. It's super easy to refine it to the max, and at max refinement, it will increase the switch character's attack by 48%. That's a big buff, and since Barbara already heals a lot anyways, might as well go with this if you truly want to spend as little resources as possible. <laughs> Now for teams, since she's a healer, you can place her in any team comp, but you do want to take advantage depending on your constellations, and if you're playing on this banner, I can only assume she's going to pop up in your summons to piss you off. But constellations are indeed useful. If you have constellation 2, then make sure to take advantage of the hydro damage bonus for your hydro DPS, whoever that may be, since there's only 4 of them in the entire game. If you're worried about being frozen for a billion years, then Shin Yan may be able to assist you since she's continuously going to apply pyro while Barbara applies hydro which cancels any other reactions. If you use her with Diona's shield, then your stamina consumption rate can decrease even further for a certain individual who can benefit from both elements and obviously the stamina part. Other than that though, just go with the casual. Be cool. So how the f do you play Barbara? <laughs> Okay, buddy. Press E, and if you're safe, use your signature slap a couple of times, maybe a little bit of charge attacks, then switch into your DPS. If you're in a situation where your head is just saying, holy shit, holy shit, my entire team is about to be destroyed by this abyss cultist, then make sure to activate your ultimate and E, and then switch back into your DPS. Oh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, she's a pretty good healer, but like, simple as heck. And that's good. She heals a lot and she may only freeze you for, I don't know, eternity, but she got them cheeks. Like, how dare you complain? She's free. She's a free unit with cheeks. How dare you complain? But now that I'm done with this video, time to make a video on this thing. Oh, wait. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Follow me on Twitch, join my Discord, and bye bye